All right, what's up, Facebook? I wanted to go live today uh, while the kids weren't here. They'll be here in just a few minutes, actually. But uh, but no, so the, the caption in this post asked, whose opinion really matters? You know, um, and I'm talking to a lot of people that may be going against the grain, kind of observing the masses, doing the opposite. Uh, a lot of people that follow me are in the same space as I am, like network marketing, you know, entrepreneurship, building, building something for yourself, you know, creating a paycheck rather than collecting a paycheck, you know, which is exciting. Um, but a lot of times when you venture off into something new or, you know, we try to do something that has the potential for great success, but that a lot of people may try and get into and may not stick with it, may not see it through. There's a lot of opinions being thrown around, whether it be your family, people close to you, friends, people that may have tried and quit. And, you know, you just got to ask yourself, whose opinion are you taking serious? Whose opinion are whose opinion matters? Who's who are you taking advice from? Who are you listening to? There's very, very few people in life that I will listen to or take advice from me personally. Uh you know, we all have advisors in life, you know, that can come in the form of a spouse that can come in the form of a parent, uh, co-worker, best friend, a teacher, professor, a coach that you may look up to. And a lot of times they're going to tell you why what you're doing will or why it won't work and understand they have your best interest at heart and that they're speaking genuinely. They care. You know, they care about you. And uh, what's up, Mendo? My girl. Um, you know, they 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 feel like they're doing right by you, you know, because of their past circumstances or because of their limiting beliefs. You just have to remind yourself of this. If you're willing to accept someone else's opinion about what you're doing, you better be willing to accept that person's lifestyle. And if they're not living the life that you want, if they don't have exactly what it is that you want, you have to know what you want now. You know, you can I could say that all day long and you may be like, well, I don't know if they have what I want or if they don't have what I want, because I don't even know what I want. You may not have the clarity necessary to even differentiate who you should listen to. So you have to ask yourself, what exactly do I want out of this life? You know. What's up, Harley? The mighty state of Texas is in the house. Glad to have you, brother. Um, you got to ask yourself. What do I want? And be very clear about that. And then find someone who's living in that, that, who's living that lifestyle as close, as, as specific as possible. So for instance, if you're like, well, this is the income goal. Hey, Kim, this is the income goal that I have. Uh, this is the amount of time that I want. Your, your, your goals may not be money related. They may be freedom related. Thanks, Harley. I appreciate that, brother. They may be freedom related. You may say, hey, look, I don't really care about how exactly how much money I make other than I want to be able to have peace of mind. I want I, I'm, I don't need the big three story house, you know, a nice, humble home. But I want the freedom to be with my kids or, you know, I'm you may be money hungry. You're like, hey, look, I want all the finer things. I like to drink the, the finest wines. I like to drive the nicest vehicles. I want to, you know, you have bigger income goals than maybe some someone else. Hey, well, you might want to listen to someone who is living at that level, you know, and start taking this, their advice. You want to surround yourself with people who are living in congruent, living congruently to the way you want to live and then find a mentor and say, hey, look, what did what did you do to get yourself in this position? And apply the things that they tell you and teach you into your own life consistently enough to where you create the habits, the same habits that they have. A lot of people think, well, if I just do what they do, say what they say, I can have what they have. When I believe it's more than that, you have to learn how to think like they think and create the habits that they have in their life. So you're going to be Jim Rohn says you're the average of the five people that you hang around the most. Right. So if you took your five friends that you hang around the most took their incomes, added them together and divided it by five. That's going to probably be, that's going to probably be around what you earn annually. And 
so you, you got to remember that when you are having these daily conversations, taking advice, c- comparing um, economic strategies, if you will. So you got to you got to take all that into account. Hey, is this person because a lot of times we, we ask people who we may get along with or we ask people that we may have um, a good relationship with or our family member who we trust because of their position in the family father figure, uh, grandfather, you know, something like that. And we automatically tend to take their opinion just because we've trusted them and looked up to them in life. But the specific circumstance, they may not be as qualified to advise you in that in that unique area of compensation. OK, so you have to stand guard. Jim Rohn says stand guard at the door of your mind. You know, a lot of us will password protect our phones, password protect our computers, but we're just willing to let anybody uh, have access to our thoughts. And remember, your thoughts are going to lead to your feelings, your emotions, which are going to lead to your actions, which will lead to your results. So what you think about is everything. And if you don't believe that who you associate with is going to affect how you think, you're high, you're 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 mistaken. You're mistaken. Now, you also have to ask yourself, you know, I come I come from a company before where I'm at now is completely different culture than where I came from. Where I came from before is you're either in or if you're not in this company, you're you're like an enemy. So you better not leave or we're going to we don't want nothing to do with you. And we're going to tell everybody else not to have anything to do with you. So it almost creates a fear of. Well, what if I need to want to try something else? Well, this person looks like they're doing really well over here. And I'm just, you know, I've tried this for so long. And I'm just not having success. Should I go try this? What's up, Amber? Glad to have you on, girl. Um, well, should I go try this? And they're like, well, if you try, don't ever don't ever think you can't come back or we're cutting you off. We're going to eliminate you out. Don't don't try nothing else. This is the end all be all. And it like creates this brainwashed like cult mentality where like you're either with us or you're against us. And that's such a toxic mindset to have because it, it, I would not want to be a part of something like that ever again. You know, the, the feeling I felt when I separated myself from that was almost like I escaped from something and to be somewhere now where that's not the philosophy. It's so, it's so it's such a breath of fresh air. It's so relieving to know, Hey, you know, if somebody's on my team and they want to go, if they just feel like this isn't a fit and they want to try something else, hey, wish them the best. Uh, don't burn that bridge. Support them. Say, hey, you know, because uh, they may come back. You know, they may come work with you again one day. Just, Shelby, I just had to wipe my face because you spit in so hard. Hopefully that was figuratively speaking, Shelby, not literally, because I try not to spray. I try not, I try to say it, not spray it. But uh, no, I got it. I appreciate that. I know what you mean. What's up, Stacy? Thank you so much. And, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So you got to you just got to be careful whose opinion you're, you're listening to, because quite honestly, that I had somewhat of a fear to to go off and try. So even even though I knew it was the right decision for my family, I knew I needed to transition professionally. I had a fear like these people are going to think less of me. And they did. And they, they, you know, had things to say and uh, threw my character, you know, through the mud and, and, and made people. Everybody likes you until you become competition. Right. And if you're secure in what you have, there's no reason to be that way. There's no reason to be that way. That's like, I'm not, like, I wouldn't tell my wife, no, you can't, you can't go uh, on that girl's night out because what if you, what if you see another guy out there? No, I'm not worried about that. I'm secure enough to know she loves me. I'm the only person she wants to be with. If she chooses to be with someone else, hey, then that's on her. I can't I can't uh, I can't control her and put fear in her to keep her with me. What kind of piece of shit husband would I be to do that? To You know, so but that goes the same in business. If you're trying to control someone because you're afraid of what they're going to see, some something better out there that they they may entertain then you have to ask yourself, why are you so afraid of that? You know, I don't mean to get off on a tangent of that, but if you're in that position and you are so worried about these opinions of these other people and these other leaders, you got to ask yourself, where are they at in life? What are they doing? Are they where you want to be? Are you sure that they're where you want to be? 
and ask yourself, are their opinions worth listening to and taking? Uh, because if you aren't willing to swap paychecks with the people giving you their opinion, don't take it to heart. Amen, Amber. Exactly. Exactly. And if you're not sure if you're willing to switch paychecks with them, ask them. Ask them. Ask them. Well, you know, uh, I don't know. I got to be careful what I say here. But just just know this, guys. Just know this. Generally speaking, all right, if you want to live a life of freedom, find someone who's free and ask them. Now, I could have stayed where I was, but I'd have had to get a job. I would have had to get a job in order to stay where I was. So I decided to transition, which is fine. You know, things change. It's an adapt or die economy. When sometimes you just got to adapt. And that's what I had to do to be able to stay in this space. I had to adjust, uh, adjust where I was, where I was going. I had to take my ladder uh, and, and lean it on a different building, you know, to climb. And uh, I'm grateful. You know, I'm grateful. I had the courage to do that. Because it was it was iffy, you know. It took a lot of uh, it took a lot of courage to do it because um, I knew I knew the culture, I knew what I was about to go up against. But you know what? My family's worth it to me. My kids are worth it to me. My future of having a life of uh, of full having a fully autonomous lifestyle was worth it to me. It was worth it to me. And obviously, you know, that all played out uh, like I hoped it would. And I, and I had some faith. Sometimes you got to bet on yourself. What's up, Matthew? Great to see you, bud. Sometimes you got to bet on yourself, you know. And and what I did was I took someone who was playing the game at a higher level me that I felt very confidently was living the lifestyle. I had no idea how much this guy was living the life that I wanted to live at the time, but I, I intuitively I felt as if that were the case, and I reached out to John Melton, you know, who's my mentor, and John and Nadia have been exceptional. I mean, they have just, man, just gone above and beyond to to take us under their wings, show us the ropes, um, get us involved where we are today, and it's just been a blast. You know, we're so excited. So that's 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 what I had to say. Uh, today, find a mentor, find someone who's living the lifestyle that you want to have and get with them. And, you know, I have a lot of room in my time to work with new people. You know, if you're, if you're like, hey, Justin, you know, I'd like to, to get with you. I'd like to hear, you know, exactly what you're doing. How, how do you have the time, you know, to, to live the way you do every day? I'll show you. I'll show you. We love, that's, that's what drives me is helping other people have a life of true freedom. And so it's not theor what I what I will share with you is not theoretical. I'm already I'm doing it. I haven't had a job in over seven years. So find someone who's there and say, all right, what do I got to do? What do I what do I have to do? And understand as you go into the world and you try new things that not everybody's going to be like not maybe not. Everybody will understand what exactly you're doing and why you're doing it. But remember, hey. Look out in the driveway, see what they're driving. Look, look at where they go every day from nine to five. Is that where you'd want to go? You know, ask yourself, is this person living the exact lifestyle that I want to live? And if the answer is no, be very careful about how much you take their advice into account with what you do with your life. So I hope that helps. Much love to everyone. If you caught this live. Thank you so much. I see a lot of your, your comments. And if you're watching this on the replay, um, uh, type hashtag replay in the comments. And if you share this, every every post, if you see that Live Free logo in the, let's see, how do I do this? Right there in the top, whatever corner, it's, it's my right, it might be your left, I don't know. If you see that little Live Free logo in the corner, when I make a, a, a live like this, if you share it, you 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 potentially will get a private message and get a live free T-shirt sent to you because I send one out to uh, each post like this. I send a live free T-shirt out to someone who shares it. So if you want to share the post, share away. But always love the support. Love love to visit with you guys. And I'm actually going to cut this one short because my kids are about to be here. I think you got the message. 
only take advice from people who you trade lives with, you know, and uh, look around and make sure you're exactly where you want to be and have clarity for exactly what it is that you want. Find someone who has that and just fought, learn to think like they think and create the habits that they have in their lifestyle. Find the vehicle. The vehicle matters. You know, the, the business matters. It does matter. Trust me, it matters. Find the vehicle, find a mentor, apply yourself, grow yourself in that space. And it's only a matter of time uh, until you have a similar lifestyle. So, all right. Have a great night, guys. God bless. And I'll see you all again real soon. Take care.